Hello, everybody. My name is Scout. Welcome to the council. Uh, so I downloaded this, like, for free. So, um, I'm new to what this game is. I believe this is just the demo version. This is not the whole version. I downloaded the free version because I wanted to see if I uh, liked it. Because if I liked it, I was going to buy it. Hold on. Okay. Paris, France, December 10th, 1792. He doesn't look so good. Mm. Mm. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Is that poison? You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. <sighs> With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that Damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bombarchard! Bombarchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, uh, I don't know about this. Oh, should I act or should I trust her? I don't know. This is difficult. I'm going to go with act. Oh. 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 Mm. <clears throat> Got his ass. God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. 
Let me see. <sighs> you know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your <sighs> nose. It's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally, we finally cracked the Von Borchardt case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Right, let's go now. Well, he's dead. Oh, so this is one of those choice-based games. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is one of those like storytelling choice based games. <laughs> so I, I I don't think this will be one of those like open world um walking around kind of games this would probably just be one of those cut scene after cut scene well done, you know you just had to pick up von Bertrand's trail on your own didn't you you ditch me in paris with no explanation and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this lord mortimer and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island which by the way looks more like a big rock than a paradise island That counts so. Episode one, the mad ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island. Searching for some yes. long lost Don't mystical object that you just well can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. What one may be able to imagine. It was not the host himself who invited me. Well, now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sarhon, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good sir, what brings you here? And you good sir, what brings you here? Business with Lord, Lord Mortimer, personal reasons. Uh, let's say business with Lord Mortimer. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed. I imagine this must be your first time here. Um. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, <coughs> Duchess. They're Damn. waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? To have visions or something, or? Oh, 
Shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one Always was having me. visions. Worry, he is sir. having no visions. Okay, it. cool. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for what you've done. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. Damn. That's wild. I definitely have to find mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? Oh, okay, so I do this get to walk around. The, the Duchess arrived with me. Yeah, care What's happening me. to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. Okay. Is there anything... Do I need to... Okay, no. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're, we're walking up now. Um, I didn't think I would be able to walk around. Hmm. Okay, then. So this, this is one of those games where it's kind of like... Louis, oh. during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Until Duchess? dawn, that's what it's I'm not sure if you remember, of. but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh. Uh, diplomat in Chinese society, a talented speaker, he avoids faux pas as he can convince those with whom he's talking without offending them. Politics is a field of predilection. Occultist. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He's trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Uh, I... I'll go with that. Occultist. Be up to date with scientific knowledge and medical questions. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Whoops. Benefit from a sound. Culture of background. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And oh, okay. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. 
Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Not at all, so lie to her. Please uh, excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Mmm, please. Boy, got Riz. Okay. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is the most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities. Do not consume effort points to ask access the skill required for the situation you just need to have it unlocked okay i ask her a question she answers with another is she playing with me each person you meet on the island has their own personality which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploiting vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay. Am I supposed to walk around and f find items? Um. Oh, okay. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Okay. Are there any other items I should be aware of grabbing? I should probably walk around some more and find out. Can I grab this? No, I cannot. So, nothing else worth grabbing. Okay, then. Can I sprint? Oh, I can. Okay, that's so much more... Oh, I missed, missed that item. Yeah, okay. That's so much more useful. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Uh, what can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? 
It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Oh. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but, sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Ha ha ha! It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been yep. doing out here on this wharf? What? It won't let me go upstairs for some weird reason. It's weird. Oh, because I don't... Okay. Sorry, come back here. Okay. Um. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Pick the lock. There we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I haven't talked. Um, there's... There seems to be a lot of... Um, just a lot of dialogue in this game. Like, a fuck ton of dialogue. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. It's kind of one of those Sherlock Holmes kind of games. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm, the powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. A fragment of amber. Yeah, this game just has a lot of a lot of dialogue. Okay. Can I go? Up the stairs now? Whoa, did I miss something? Oh, I did. A wooden floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm.
Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Ah, uh, shit! Uh, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Mm. Okay, so then... I need to find something that I can use that will hatch it open. Um, look around and see if there's anything I can use. Um, no? Hmm. Maybe... Got, maybe there's something back here that I can use. It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Ooh. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. Edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take the bar. This might just come in handy. Yeah. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Okay. Well, now I can use that to pry open the floorboard. Use the rusty iron bar. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. This There's voice acting is so fucking bag. weird, dude. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? This game has just such just terrible voice acting. Let's look I'm so sorry, but the voice acting food, is just so terrible. A few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Except the Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. What does all this mean? Examine the rusty key. key. Completely rusted. Take the key. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Take right. the bag. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Can I go up now? There we go. But yeah, the voice acting in this game is just... I'm sorry, but it's just so terrible. <laughs> How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop?
Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Um, certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. You're right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do, exactly? Mm. Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The mystery ah, that your manages her business okay. proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh, <laughs> I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Hey. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Uh, you must convince the person you have a positive answer to give the answer to this stuff. Oh. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Hey, Listen, okay. Let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. 
I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Ah. Uh. Alright, now I'm supposed to, I guess, find some hidden elements of stuff. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once. Oh yeah, I Caesar remember Brutus that. raised the dagger on him. Then, we learned about that in his school. Head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Oh, I have to go to the other side. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United oh, States. Oh, this, okay. I'd like wow. to last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time, there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits. I wonder if, if George Washington was actually like this. Matters, I wonder if this was his actual like personality. Come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, You've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards. And we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord. Washington the Illuminati. The Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must it's really be part of the Illuminati. The cult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Uh, say and nothing. now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. 
We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Mm. Let's yeah. see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Uh... And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tag down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Uh... Oh, the My mother has us. always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres. Like the one at Salem from uh, happening again. Salem or with convincing trials. people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Um, do the others in the order know? Do you think? And what if mother has left the island? Let's go with Mother this. still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Um... Don't speak Don't about worry, problem. Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back.
Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, I've seen, Genero, I've seen that one Lord before. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. Oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, the one ribbon. Yes, that one. I've, I've seen that painting that before painting somewhere. Is. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, oh. Well, you wouldn't know. And the artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You will find that Lord Mortimer it's really cool is not when, what when one would call conventional. Pop culture pops in shed. with video games. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived uh, I guess her, but we weren't introduced. Shit. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. Opportunity to miss questioning skill required. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Oh, back hurts. All right. Is there going to be more dialogue, or am I going to be walking around? Okay, I guess there's more dialogue. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Okay, now I finally have to walk around. So he said at the end of the corridor. So would that be down here? I don't think that's me. Mm. Ah. Huh, that's me. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Yeah, I think Damn. we should leave the letter closed. I can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow! Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Alright, I think I'm going to end this episode here. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified for future uploads. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.